Hi, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to put the add to calendar links into your email. The first strategy that I show you, you'll be able to use in any email platform. And the second one involves a native integration that MailChimp has with another platform. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And when you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments so that other people can find it as well. All right, let's get into it. The first strategy that I'm going to recommend is to use this website here, calendar.link. I will put the link for it in the description box below. And this one is no bells and whistles, totally free. You're just gonna fill out the information. So first we're gonna put in the title of your event, any description that you would want in the description part of the event, the location if you have one, the location or address. If you don't have a physical address, you can put a Zoom link in here. Then we're going to pick the date and time of our event. You're going to pick the date, click OK, and then pick the time, or you can make it an all day event. And then you'll select your time zone and that's it. We're going to create the event. All right, we are going to ignore this first link. That's not what you want. Scroll down here to add to calendar links. They are going to show you different ways to do it, where they're just right next to each other or with a dot in between. You can also copy this HTML code by clicking this. You can copy the individual links if you wanted to do it that way. This is what I'm going to recommend. I'm going to get rid of those little dots and just do the space separator. And then I'm going to do this and I'm going to copy it. I'm doing command C and go back over here to my email and we are going to add a text box and we're just going to paste it in just like that. And what this will do is it will take on the defaults of your fonts and your colors and your sizes and all of that. And there they are. And if you decide that you don't need all of these, like you can just delete them out. Well, there we go. If that satisfied your needs, then give me a little thumbs up and a thank you. I am now going to show you a uh, fancier way using this app section in MailChimp's new builder and a website called Add Event Calendar. Add Events is a much more robust program. So they have a free version, but they have a lot of paid versions. If you are working for an organization that has a lot of events going on and you need to be able to organize, have several different calendars with many events listed, if you need to be able to collect RSVPs, do subscriptions, all these other things, then Add Event is a really good option for that. So I am now creating my event here. This one also allows you to preset notifications in people's calendars so that it will buzz them. Just like the other one, it gives us some links that we can put in places. So we could copy this right from here, but if we head back over to MailChimp, we're going to go to apps. Again, the add event calendar links. You can see here how if you have an organization that is juggling a lot of different events and you need a more organized way of scheduling them, that this platform is better for you. So there's the logos. You can also do them as text. Ta-da! All right, I will leave the links to both of these other platforms in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and do all the things. Um, and I will see you around.